Breaking by myself in Fredonia, Kansas. During a storm. Flash flooding. Big stuff. As you can see, it was a wonderful flight last night. I ended up spending the night at my friend Trent's house. Yeah, it's great. It's great. I love having friends in the sport. I'm gonna go explore Tulsa a little bit, like run down maybe some coffee or something like that. It looks like it's a blowout. Everything's overcast and growing big already. Big tall clouds early in the morning. Sun shining, that's a bad sign. That means uh, trouble. It means there's trouble. Hey, we're only a couple hours away from the fly-in. There's no hurry, man. It's uh, not gonna be flyable there. We're gonna wait it out. Checking the weather, it does not look good. It's got me reconsidering my direction. Heavy rains all night and part of the day tomorrow. Some places up to six inches. Flash flooding alerts and warnings. Damn, it makes me want to push back south. It's better south, but almost all the way back home though. What to do? What to do? If I drive up there, I'm just gonna be sitting in the camper in the rain. I hear thunder behind me already. And it's early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big storm right over here. I'm gonna have to go roll my windows up, reevaluate my uh, life decisions here. Yep, it's coming right toward me. Got some drinking water and some ice and some coffee creamer. Oh yeah. Distilled water. And my daddy told me a trick a long time ago. You take distilled water, some aspirin, and you can like juice up your batteries one last time if you need to give them that last little boost. My battery's about shot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to salvage them for this trip, let's see. You know, it came down to a decision like this. I can either head north, deal with the rain, and hang out with my friends, or I can head south and dodge the rain and be alone for a day or two. I think I'm just gonna go weather it out with the guys that are already there. Some people have traveled in already. Smaller groups tend to be more enjoyable than gigantic large groups, so you know. It turns into just a melee of people. I don't mind it, I, I enjoy the people. That's not a complaint by any means, but you know, when there's 10 guys on the field, everybody kind of gets a better sense of camaraderie than if there's, you know, 400 guys on the field. You you might just get a glance at, at several of them. Yeah, we're headed there, we're headed there. Let's go north, guys. Into the, into the storm we go. Maybe I can get some weather video from Kansas. <laughs> Personal hygiene is important when you're traveling on the road. So there's a big electrical storm. I was just in this Dollar General here. Wow, there's lightning out in the distance there. Embarrassingly enough, I was sitting on the toilet in this Dollar General. Lightning hit, I heard the thunder, and then it hit again, and pew, darkness. Is it pitch black? No phone, no flashlight, <laughs> Dollar General bathroom. <laughs> I got it all worked out proper, so we, we good. Yeah, it's terrible, terrible weather. I'm driving right into it like a fool. I don't know what else to do. It's still an adventure, always an adventure. I had to fly last night, so I mean, like I've had my fix lately. I don't start getting jittery until two or three days goes by. I'd like to get up there to see my friends, but it was storming so bad I had to pull over. I couldn't see, couldn't make progress. It was becoming a a danger thing. I thought I heard some hail hitting the windshield along with the rain. This is a big, big system. Big, powerful, and scary. You see sunshine to the south of me. We're, we're coming up under the edge of it here. I was trying to push out of the top of it, but there's no, it just keeps building. I saw sunlight for a minute and it just swallowed, the sky just swallowed the sunlight. It was gone. So I pulled over to give it a little time to kind of kind of dissipate or maybe I can squeeze in a crack. Yep, I'm gonna squeeze in between sails. I think it's basically passed by. They're still dead in the water at the Dollar General. I'm gonna make some tracks. See my friends. There's pretty substantial hail falling. I'm getting a I pulled over on the side of the road, turned my flashes on. Yeah, so 
so much for the paint job, I guess. Everybody else is pulling over too. There's two vehicles that have up here. Damn, it's getting bigger. This is what we got happening right here. This is what it's been doing. And then this is the model. Boom! Right about then, about 8.55, it, it turns nastiness here. And then it blasts right by us pretty quick over towards Springfield. Hmm, scary. Don't know that I'm staying here in this. Might have to go somewhere else <laughs> and weather the storm. <laughs> well, I'm always running this bad weather. I don't know. I run right towards the middle of it. It seems chronic habit of mine at this point. Uh, so the sit rep is bad storm coming right up our butts and we're going to Pizza Hut. That's how it's happening at this moment. I think we're on the left up here. This kid is serious out here, guys. Oh shit, almost lost it. He lost his. You gotta fly it like a tailwheel out here. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, y'all. It's, uh, it it's bad weather on the horizon and I'm parking on oh. the side of the building where it won't blow my shit away. Safety first, always. Sad when you gotta fly your parked truck, but Still gotta do it sometimes. We're Pizza Hut hey. with these cats. What's up, y'all? Uh, not even had time to formally introduce ourselves. Kyle, man. There's a motherfucking Alco in this town. The mall pharmacy started next to an Alco in Spring Hill, Louisiana. That's an old school brand. Yeah, yeah, it is. I never heard of it. It's pre Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's pre Walmart. Pretty bad out here. I hear thunder and rumbling. Oh, there's a lot of power in the sky. It's cool. It's rocking the light poles. I'm shutting the Pizza Hut down tonight in Fredonia, Kansas. I think most of the people at the field came and we ate supper, they ate supper. I'm on the diet again, so I can't eat pizza or breadsticks. Didn't really need beer, but it's drinking weather. So I'm gonna sit here till they kick me out and then I'll go sleep in the parking lot. Drinking by myself in Fredonia, Kansas. They're in a storm. Flash flood. Big stuff. I know. They moved your whole furniture around, didn't they? Huh? They moved all your furniture around, didn't they? Yeah. Bunch of, bunch of mongrels. All right. Let's do it then. So I'm loaded down in the paracamper. I'm going, I'm going no power tonight. The temperature's comfortable. I got blankets. That's how you paracamp. I got to take the strap off. I strapped the mattress to the table so it don't fall. It's just on a little kitchen, little kitchen table under here. Anyway, that's that. The whole damn camper's shaking. The wind's blowing like crazy. Strong gust. Can't really sleep. Thought I might vlog for a second. Not sure what to say. I said I'm gonna run the battery out of my only light if I vlog for too long, because this is it. Did I really just do that? How stupid do you think somebody is? I really just slipped. It just slipped. It slipped right out of my hand. Shot me in the eye. I'm gonna turn it off, guys. Oh, you know what? Night mode. I think I got night mode. Yeah, it's night shot. That's what it is. Or you can see lightning out the window. I certainly can. You see the night shot screen? I think it's still raining. What a mess. Flash flooding is the big concern, actually. Not so much tornadoes and winds. They're kind of, I don't know, low key, I guess, but heavy, heavy rain and thunderstorms are out the window. So I'm gonna keep laying around. No power, just sleeping in the trailer. It's actually pretty good sleeping weather. I started back on my keto diet a couple of days ago and, and like I didn't eat yesterday. I need to eat some breakfast. But I'm gonna wait for the rain to finish before I go do that. But the hunger is subsiding, so that's good. Woo. Yep. Yep. Really rainy weather eating here. So I'm hanging out in front of the kitchen 
I'm sorry, the kitchen table is the name of this restaurant. It's raining still. It's going on 24 hours. I've been in the rain. I slept uh, behind the Alco last night, of course. I think we're gonna watch a movie later. Maybe some John Wick 3? That one's out now. I haven't seen it. I heard it was a fun movie, so we'll go check that out. I think we may need to rename this event the Endless Rain Drag because there is endless rain and it's quite the drag. Uh -uh -uh. But it was a spur of the moment call. Man, there's a lot of flooding here too. I just can't get away from the flooding. Everywhere I go, it follows me. It's just flood, 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 flood in the wake of where I take steps. I guess at least I got a good pair of boots. Thank you, whoever, I think my brother or my wife, one of y'all got me these. I can't remember who got me the boots. Muck boots, they're really nice for water walking. That's not a good sign. The wind is shaking the trailer like mad. Anybody blowing away? I parked down here kind of out of the way, everybody. Vertigus River. The Vertigus River be bulging today. We're on our way to Parsons, Kansas to see John Wick 3 and eat some awesome Mexican food in the hopes and prayers that this wind's gonna, wind and rain's gonna stop so we can all go flying. Pro tip, wind and rain always stops. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dance, Rachel. Huh? <laughs> I've, had, I've got some of that yeah, before. Got that slow motion. John Wick Part 3 review coming in right now. John Wick 3 was like a solid 3 out of 10. Solid. <laughs> Well, the weather took a turn for the better. Beautiful clear skies, puffy clouds, super strong winds though. It's drying the water off nicely though, like everything has gone down. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, shaping up to be a good day here at the EFD. I'm ready. So yeah, yeah, we're just gonna feel it out. So we find ourselves at the endless foot drag. The wind is honking out here. And I'm wearing my free flight helmet. And we're about to go kiting. This little speed wing. Let's do it. Had a couple of beers. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard to put these straps in the right spot. But it's just ground handling. I think we're gonna be all right. Let's see. Let's take this wing out here. We'll sort these lines while it's laying here on this table. Nope. Nope. It's starting to go somewhere. We don't want that. Let's sort them in the camper then. Oh, oh. Give it back. Give it back. Do a tow? A tow? Who's towing? Somebody's got a tow machine down there. Well, good luck to them. I'm about to kite this little wing. It's caught him. It was stronger than this that day. Me and you and Matt was out there. I guess I'm the only one getting the evening kiting session. Speed wings are so fun. When it's strong, this is there is no substitute. <laughs> Looks like the wind has shifted out of the east a bit. It was pretty west a while ago, but now it's more east. So the phone started ringing and it screwed up Kyle's voiceover. <laughs> So what I was trying to say was the flying, we, we didn't get to fly this day. It was just too blown out. I did a little kiting with the mini wing, flew the kite, and 
that's the end of this one. I'll be back with the next episode with some PPG action. I promise y'all. Much love, everybody. Kyle out. It's kind of ratty, though. It's, it's, yeah, well, it's in a window about like that, but it's still rowdy. First kiting in the books. <laughs>